This is now personal. Against all liars, deceivers, abusers, and killers of humanity for profit. Welcome to Roll Call part number 13 and we hope that so far that you've been understanding your world far far better and knowing that hell and the lake of fire is real, Satan is real, the creator is real. That is the reason why we started a channel. It was to take you up to a step by step process so by the time we get to here you'll have full understanding. Because throughout all our whole entire series, we try to make you understand something about the myth of whiteness. Anybody with straight hair superiority, that it is a myth and there is nothing to it. 
and then we got to part 16 of the myth of whiteness we called it part 16 underscore intelligence because we wanted to show you categorically that for you to be intelligent that you have to have the bones for it and albinos anybody with straight hair do not have those bones let's show you that picture again so we want this picture to be stuck in your memory forever so that you do understand that for you to be anything at all you have to have the genetics for it and the only people who have the genetics to be anything are black people because the creator created us black he created us to be in heterozygote unions coming from different family lines that are not directly related by a nuclear family so that your genetics your bones can have enough carbon to be strong because carbon is a necessary constituent of this physical life that we as spiritual beings human beings are living in right now and albinos anybody with straight hair do not have the bones so they have not discovered anything they have not invented anything everything that has been invented in this life be it either good or bad was invented by african intelligence because africans african males are the most intelligent people in the whole entire world their intelligence stems from the fact that they have the genetics they have the bones they have the full spectrum of the sun every day all year round the year and no other continent outside of africa has that they also have the full fauna of nutrients in the earth so they are not genetically limited to the amount of testosterone which they have as african males which is necessary for intelligence the limit is off the roof that is the reason why the pyramids were only built in Africa, not replicated anywhere else in the world. Because it was built by African intelligence. That's why albino supremacy every day, every time tries to make you believe that Egypt was not in Africa. And the pyramids was not the only thing that the Africans built. Others were destroyed by albino supremacy but why does the egyptian pyramid stand the test of time because it was built by the original israelites and the creator had a hand in building it as a testimony that he was in egypt because egypt was the very first civilization of the world after the flood of noah and the creator had a hand in building it and saying that it would stand the test of time we don't have time to go into much explanations before that, but that is just an analysis. There was other inventions and creations that Africans built that was in Africa, but all of them are either hidden from view, not put into popular culture, or destroyed so that Satan can keep on painting the scenario of albino supremacy to you guys to believe in because albinism is actually weakness. There are no intelligent albinos, anybody with straight hair in the world. Take a good look at these bones. The bones are cracking up, which means that you are sick. If you're an albino, anybody with straight hair. Because your bones are cracking up. That means your body is continually walking, trying to repair the bones. Have you ever had a bone fracture? You should understand what we're saying right here. Because if your body is constantly working to repair your bones, it doesn't have time to be intelligent, to think, to know what it should do. This is what is going on internally inside the body of an albino. It's rotting every single minute. And without an albino keeping the commandments of the creator, those bones will rot totally out and they'll completely be dumb and unintelligent. They have no hope. So because the albino is genetically sick, because you can see from these bones that it's cracking up, there is spaces in it. And this is the pelvic bone, all right? You can see it's cracking up everywhere. 
the albino is genetically sick and once you're genetically sick you do not have time to think you only follow instructions because your body doesn't have the mentality it doesn't have the ability to be able to think for itself this is why albinos everywhere in the world of every ethnicity follow instructions to the letter they follow commands they keep to law and order because they have no ability to be able to think for themselves. The only way an albino is going to be wise is for them to keep the commandments of the Creator. That is the only way. Besides that, an albino, anybody will straight here, will follow the purpose and design that he was created for or she was created for, which is to steal the identity of every black person in this world, which they are doing greatly besides keeping their own identity and recalling where they came from. Because all albinos, anybody with straight hair, came from the continent of Asia. They are Asians especially from the part of northern india which is known as iran and iraq and afghanistan today and also india itself as it's known and also the asian oriental states this is where everybody with straight hair come from they are not native american or native indian all the people who are on the reservations of the United States of America as Indians are immigrants. They are not the owners of the land. The government constructed them and put them in those reservations to paint a false reality of history for us to believe that they are the owners of the Northern American continent. That is what happened. They are immigrants, Asians, as you can tell every day when you look at those people on the reservation. They look Asian because they are Asian. The real people who own the land are the so-called people they call today African Americans, who were formerly called Native Indian or Native American. Then they were called Negroes, Blacks. And in 1988, Reverend Jesse Jackson a stooge of the albino supremacist masters who run the world and the united states coined the term african-american because they were starting to paint another false history for the black people the real owners of the united states of america north america to believe that they came from africa so that the lie of being hebrew israelites can be used to take over the identity of the real children of israel since the lie of albinos, anybody with straight hair, being the original Israelites, would not be enough to keep on hiding the identity of the real children of Israel. So today, albinos, anybody with straight hair, have stolen the identity of everybody. They are now Mexicans. Meanwhile, the original Mexicans are still in Mexico called Negra. They now claim to be from South America. They now claim to be from Europe. They now claim to be from North Africa. They now claim to be every identity under the sun other than the fact that they were immigrants into all those places. So if you are not keeping the commandments of the creator as an albino, anybody with straight hair, you will fulfill the purpose that you were created for. And remember, as we've explained, life is spiritual. The reason why the albinos, anybody with straight hair, have been able to steal the identity of every black person in this world and do it successfully and convincingly is because of demonology. Because as a human being living in this world, you are all attached to demons, whether you're keeping the commandment of the creator or not. For those who keep the commandments of the Creator, they have very few demons. It could be five at the most. But for those who do not keep the commandments of the Creator, they have at the least five million demons attached to them. And for albinos, anybody with straight hair, these demons have a speciality in making you arrogant, proud, and full of ego, full of telling convincing stories, believing fantasies, and false lies. 
and also giving you the ability to steal the identity of every black person in this world successfully. And your main job doing all this is to make sure they drag you to hell because you do not keep the commandments of the Creator. For those who keep the commandments of the Creator, they have very few demons. The demons are there just to be stumbling blocks in your walk with the Creator. They make you have a bad day so that they can slow your walk and make you feel like the Creator is not with you. And the reason why they are doing that is because the earth fell into sin, fell into corruption because of what Satan did. We live in a corrupted world. That's why those demons are here. Even though you believe in the commandments of the Creator, they'll still be here until this world is done away with. So albinos, anybody with straight hair, have no intelligence. They have no strength. Every strength that you see on TV or in your media or whatsoever is constructed reality. Because we all know as a fact that the best athletes in the world are black. We all know that. So here at this particular section, we want to dissect and show you how that constructed reality is created for you in sports. For you to actually believe that albinos, anybody with straight hair, of any strength at all. All you need to always remember is take a good look at the bones. The genetics. Albinos have no genetics to be strong. They have no genetics to be mentally strong. You can see that every day in your life. They have 911 emergency and the police on speed dial because when you're genetically sick and ill as albinos are and showing all the signs of sicknesses in infertility and so many diseases filled in the hospital with albinos, autism, ADHD and so on and so forth. They never ever tell you the truth that is because of your genetics. You do not have the bones for it. And here is the bones right here. It's cracking up. So the body is in overdrive. The organs are in overdrive working, trying to fill up these cracks and heal itself. And this is what it'll do till the day it dies. So an albino cannot be mentally strong, except they keep the commandments of the creator. And there are very few of them who actually do. Let's dive down into trying to make you understand how this false reality of albino superiority in sports comes by. First of all, you have to understand this. The reason why albinos are very successful, all right, in convincing us that they are of the greatest minds, all right, in sports and great athletes is because the sports is rigged, number one. All sports in the world are rigged. I want you to get that. They are rigged through the officiating. I'm going to give you a typical example. We've been giving you a typical example for so long, especially on sports. If you watch soccer, all right? And you watch what we call the Premier League, which is played in England. All right? It's one of the most popular soccer presentations that you have on TV. The sports is rigged from top to bottom by the officials. Now, in today, 
in this particular year 2019 coming to an end and into 2020 that we are going into all right even though the year doesn't officially start but that's what we want to call it by january 1st but whatever the case all right in this particular season of season 2019 slash 2020 the club that is supposed to win that premiership is called liverpool now the officiating of every match in the premiership this year has been rigged for liverpool to win and how did they do that now all the boards of every premier league club the controlling board that controls the club and the players are used to rig the spots the controlling board will tell the manager which players to play and which formation to play to make sure that an opposing team can win or they can win that is how the sports is rigged first of all through the controlling boards of the sports team they determine the formations so even though they do have a manager the manager is also just doing a job so whatsoever he's told is what he'll do so he will select it will look like he's the one doing the selection of the players but he is not the one doing it the board does that so that's how sports teams are rigged now besides that if you watch any of the matches in which liverpool plays there are officiating officials who are used specifically to make sure that the outcome of the game comes out right you will notice these officials in every single game they will officiate one game and then 30 minutes later they will officiate another game it seems like the officiating of this sports team or this particular competition cannot be done without these referees you will notice them so when it comes to the officiating how it's done is that there are certain referees because it's not the whole entire referee lineup that is used because if the whole entire referee lineup is used people are going to notice the referees are going to be found out that all the referees are in on the gig so they use a certain set of referees if you want to know who those referees are i will give you the matches that you should watch or the teams you should watch in the english premier league to spot out those referees so anytime liverpool plays you will see those set of referees anytime manchester city play you will see those set of referees anytime chelsea play you will see those same set of referees anytime arsenal plays you will see those set of referees anytime that manchester united play you will see those set of referees anytime tottenham hotspurs play you will see those same sets of referees those same sets of referees will be refereeing all those teams that we mentioned that is how you'll know who they are okay now continuing on since you now know that every sport is rigged and black athletes are the best athletes in the whole entire world since the albino supremacist masters do not want you to be able to spot that fact because it is known that black athletes make the best athletes in the world there are certain sports that are made for only albinos anybody with straight hair so that they can sell you an illusion that black people do not make the best athletes so we want to go through the sports so you can understand it top on that sport list which is used to control your mind and make you to have an illusion about the fact that black athletes make the best athletes in the world and that albinos anybody with straight hair can compete with them because they have this type of bones that you see right here it's all cracking up all right the first sports is lawn tennis when you see roger federer uh rafael nadal and Novak Djokovic those are all constructed sports reality 
in which only albinos of the three that we have named so far in Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Novak Djokovic become champions. So in these sports, black people are not allowed to progress except such a construct as Serena Williams, who is there to serve a purpose because Serena Williams is actually male and not female. Okay? Now, in the sports of lawn tennis, one of the things they use to rig the sport so that black people cannot get into it is that you have to have sponsorship. All right? You have to have sponsorship. And since sponsorship entails a lot of money, which only albinos, anybody with straight hair corporations have, black people can get into it because they would blow the competition of albinos out of the water. So that is what is used, first of all, to control the fact that black people do not get into that sports, lawn tennis. The second controlling factor is this, is that they give steroids to all albinos that are in lawn tennis. And then they check the steroids against blacks. So there is an unfair advantage given to albinos to progress in lawn tennis over blacks. Because lawn tennis exerts a lot of energy. Your energy expenditure is exponential. And so if you give steroids to albinos, anybody with straight hair, they have the ability to last longer and run longer. Even though a black person will play, but at the end of the day, all right, because of the steroid advantage, the albinos, anybody with straight hair, will have an unfair advantage and win. And that is how that sports of lawn tennis is constructed as a false reality for you to believe that albinos, anybody with straight hair, are the greatest. Now, given the fact, every sports take steroids. This is one thing you have to understand. Every sports in the world is run on steroids. Be it basketball, be it American football, or be it athletics, be it any sports at all, is run on steroids. So how they make it to look legal is that they call it nutrition. There's another name for it. They call it nutrition. Okay? The only time they use steroids against an athlete is because the athlete is not adhering to instructions and is becoming a problem. And then they can use steroids against that athlete to check him or her. I can give you an example. In the UFC, everybody takes steroids. But sometimes John Jones is called out on steroids. Why is that? Because John Jones is not completely adhering to the instructions that he's supposed to keep in the UFC. So in order to control and check him, they use steroids against him. They say that he has steroids present in his bloodstream. That's how they do it. But everybody in the UFC takes steroids. Now you have to understand that steroid helps you heal. So because all these professional athletes are under a lot of bodily stress, because you have to understand, first of all, that the food that we are all eating contains poisons. So we don't have our own natural strength anymore. And all these foods are given to professional athletes who are competing and exerting their body and not having enough nutrients. So the only other way around it is to give them steroids so that they don't have too much injuries, it can also prevent injuries and that they can continue performing. But besides that, that is what the steroids are there for. And in certain and most cases, is used as an unfair advantage against black people to keep us believing in the myth and illusion of albino, anybody with straight case superiority, who don't have the bones for it, as you can see right here, because it's all cracking up. And the body is continually walking day and night in hyperdrive to heal. So that's why albinos get older quickly. Because their body is in hyperdrive. It's sick. Continually trying to work to heal itself. Because the bones, the very basic foundation of being a human being, your bones. Because everything that you are comes from your bones. Your cells, 
Your red blood cells come from your bones, your white blood cells. It's your bone marrow that produces all that. And so if it's sick, you cannot be okay. All right? So continuing on with the steroid thing, the next sports which is used to give us this, you know, illusion of albino superiority includes sports like cycling, all right? And other sports is swimming. You've probably heard of this analogy that the reason why albinos make great swimmers is because they have longer torsos. It's all bullshit, all right? The creator created us to have longer limbs and shorter torsos. Man created albinism, anybody with straight hair, to have longer torsos and shorter limbs. So longer torsos, as they have told you, is not very efficient, even in swimming. Because what you need to swim with are your limbs. It's not your torso. Understand that. So another sport that's used to make you believe in albino superiority is, as we've explained, is swimming. Now, there are other variety of sports like motorsports, which are not really sports, but nevertheless, they still use that to promote albino superiority. So you keep suffering from the illusion that black people are not the best athletes in the world. Now, the sport that is the most watched sports in all of humanity today is soccer. Soccer is rigged, as we have explained earlier, like the English Premiership, all right, to make you believe in albino superiority. Anybody with straight hair superiority when it comes to sports. So since soccer is the most watched sports in the whole entire world, the sports is rigged from top to bottom to paint a picture of albinos, anybody with straight hair superiority. How is that the case? In soccer, even the black athletes who play soccer know this. All albinos in soccer are given steroids. And the steroids are checked against all black athletes in soccer. So, for example, when you watch such an event as the World Cup, you always see that in most cases, the countries that always win are albinos. Anybody with straight hair. All right? over black people why is that the case because the albinos anybody with straight hair athletes who play soccer all right are given steroids and then steroids are checked against black teams so the albinos anybody with straight hair soccer players you will notice that they seem to run forever on the pitch but yet we have never ever seen an albino anybody with straight hair win a gold medal in athletics why is that the case soccer just involves you running if i can outrun you then i can win it's that simple it's a very simple sport if i can outrun you with the ball i should win and we all know that albinos, anybody with straight hair, cannot run because we have the proof in athletics. Because when it comes to athletics, track and field, everybody's given steroids. Both the black and anybody else that's an albino, anybody with straight hair, running in track and field. There, it is now a fair advantage. And blacks always win. That's why the greatest track and field stars in the world till date remain black with woolly hair. And no albinos are there. So how come is it that in soccer, it seems that albinos, anybody with straight hair, seem to triumph over the black teams? Because albinos are given steroids. They run longer and outlast the blacks who are checked against steroids and have an unfair advantage. And since soccer is the most watched sports in the whole entire world, it now paints a picture of albino supremacy, anybody with straight hair superiority in that sport, for you to believe and be sold the lie that albinos, anybody with straight hair, are intelligent and do better in soccer that they are the wisest sportsmen in soccer when in reality they do not have the genetics for it as you're looking at the screen the bones are all cracked up and because they are given steroids you now believe 
that they are the greatest sports people when it comes to soccer. Even with the world's greatest coaches today, which are known to be albinos, anybody with straight hair, if you want to take a look at their successes, their successes comes from the board. And in that board of people who make the selection and choose the players and choose the formation against the teams that make them superstars, it's filled with black folk. Go take a look at the board and see what's going on. So, what makes albinos look like they are supreme sports master when it comes to athletics is because of steroids. And how are you going to know if an albino or anybody's on steroids? This is where we break it down for you and let's get into it. So, we want you to understand, first of all, what it looks like or what a person looks like when they take steroids because as we've explained the most watched sports in the whole entire world is soccer and is used to paint a picture of albino anybody with straight hair superiority to us because albinos anybody with straight hair are given steroids and then the steroids get checked against black folk all right so that there is an unfair advantage in albinos and also coupled with the fact that the sports is rigged, okay, to paint that picture an illusion of albino superiority for us since the most watched sports is soccer. So we want to start with a basic understanding of what you should look for in somebody who is taking steroids to know if the person is taking steroids or not. Now, if you get online and you try to find out and you ask this question, what does a person look like if they take steroids? What you see on the screen right now is going to be a false answer to the question. So in most cases, the answer that you will see when you type into your search engine and say, okay, how can I identify someone who takes steroids? You have a myriad of answers. And then one of the myriad of answers that you're going to come up with is that steroids, if someone is taking steroids, is going to show much more in their traps. The traps means your shoulders. Uh, and shoulders, he's talking about your shoulders. On top of your shoulders, just besides your neck. That's your traps. Those are the trap muscles. Okay? They'll tell you that the effects are easily shown there first and also shown in the quads, in a part of the quads that's called vastus lateralis. So vastus lateralis is your outer quads, all right? What makes you to have the quad sweep that they call in bodybuilding? But the truth is this, the answer to that question is covered up with a myriad of lies because what's gonna happen? If you have traps, all right? Because some people are genetically gifted to have very huge traps. So what you think is when you see those huge traps is that, oh, the person must be on steroids because that is what the Satanists want you to know about steroids without telling you the whole truth. Why don't they tell you the whole truth? Because if they tell you the whole truth, you'll be able to identify right off the bat which albino is performing so well, especially in the sports of soccer, which is rigged against black folk to make you believe in albino, anybody with straight hair supremacy that is taking steroids. Because all albinos in soccer, in the sports of soccer, are given steroids. That's what makes them to be able to perform. So when you hear such people as Lionel Messi of Argentina or Cristiano Ronaldo of Portugal, or all the great albino athletes like Zinedine Zidane, all right? And every albino athlete that has ever played the sports of soccer say that they are the best in the world. The truth is that they were all on steroids, including Maradona. That is why they perform so much. The talent that they have is not great, is not fantastic, is because they were given steroids and promoted and rigged and their teams were rigged for them to win. You have now believed that those albinos, anybody with straight hair, are the greatest soccer athletes that you've ever known. 
the only thing that you need to always come back to is always to remember this. The bones of an albino look like this. And therefore, they cannot be the greatest soccer players in the whole entire world. All right? Because their bones are not strong enough to be able to do so. So all the skills that you see them perform, the albinos, especially in the sports of soccer, it's all because of steroids. Steroid gives them an unfair advantage. And then secondly, the sports is rigged around them to win. So for example, Cristiano Ronaldo from nowhere about a couple of years ago won the Euro championships, all right? He's won the Champions League back to back two times and up to like four or five times right now. It was all rigged. Same with David Beckham. David Beckham was in Manchester United. As long as David Beckham was in Manchester United, Manchester United was a very great team. They won all the medals in sports of soccer. Immediately, David Beckham left. Manchester United started dwindling. Why? Because David Beckham, who is a transgender, was a female. Okay? Transgender to a male and put in Manchester United the club. And the game was rigged for Manchester United to win because of David Beckham. Now, after David Beckham left, they had Christian Ronaldo. Right? Christian Ronaldo played in Manchester United. As long as Christian Ronaldo was in Manchester United, Manchester United was a great team. When Christian Ronaldo left Manchester United, today Manchester United is struggling. Why is that? Because it was rigged for Christian Ronaldo and David Beckham to be the greatest sports athletes that albinos, anybody with straight hair. So you people keep suffering from the illusion, the witchcraft of albino anybody with straight hair superiority because anybody and everybody including albinos themselves who believe in albino anybody with straight hair superiority are suffering from a witchcraft spell put on them by satan any love for albinism in any shape or form is satanism because you are denying that the creator created us black with woolly hair in his image he did not create albinism. Men did. Because what the so-called society wants to tell you and popular culture is that the creator created us all. No, he did not. They want to tell you that people come in different shapes and sizes. No, they do not. They want to tell you that we were made the way we are. No, we were not. We were made only black with woolly hair. That is what the creator made. If you're not black with woolly hair, a man created you. And the man who created you were listening to Satan. Because instead of procreating with people from different families that they were not related to by a nuclear family, they procreated with members of their own family in their sons and daughters and their brothers and their sisters and siblings. That is what man did. It is not what the creator did. So do not believe the nonsense they tell you. And the only reason why you believe all that nonsense is because you are not keeping the commandments of the creator. Because if you did, you would know for certain. You would have the intelligence to know. You would be led to the truth to know the truth about the reality of this world. But you are not doing so. So the creator did not create us all. He created us black with woolly hair. In his image so continuing on the sports are rigged so when you get to ask that question all right because you will notice this fact if you're a normal logical thinking person you always ask this question why is it that in athletics albinos anybody with straight hair cannot run all right and the sports of soccer is about running but in soccer they run more and last longer because they are given steroids and that's what makes them the great sportsmen. And then the sports is rigged for them in soccer. The black people in soccer are running on natural energy. So getting back to how you're going to identify steroids. When you get online and you try to find out how do I know if someone is taking steroids, they'll tell you that the first indication will show in the traps and in the vastus lateralis, which is your quads, your outer quads, 
of your legs when we talk about your quads here we're talking about your thigh your thigh has four muscles on top of it on your thigh all right the outer muscle the outer muscle which shows which is the most prominent in your leg is called the vastus lateralis so here we want to show you the indication of knowing that this albinos anybody with straight hair in the spots of soccer take steroids first of all let's take a look at what a steroid user in the most competitive spots in the world when it comes to bodybuilding takes because it's known in bodybuilding everybody knows this is an aseptic fact that everybody is on steroids so let's see what a bodybuilder looks like so when you get online and you try to find out who is on steroids all the articles that you read will tell you that the first indication of someone taking steroids is in the traps and here is the trap muscle right here this muscle okay and then they say also the vastus lateralis the vastus lateralis is right here this muscle right here on the outside of your legs so they say that these are the two positions all right which show that you are taking steroids now this is obviously very very true but there is also a catch in which they don't tell you and the catch that we want to show you is right in the next picture so what you're looking at is the traps also from the back so in this particular picture this is your trap muscle right here from the back this is your trap as well now a lot of people do not know that the trap muscle starts all the way down here right it goes all the way down to your glute muscles so the trap starts all the way down here all right this is where your trap muscles are connected to and goes all the way up here but it does not stop there all right it goes all the way to your neck so all right here from this side and the side of the neck all right are your trap muscles i want you to pay attention to that because when they say traps, I want you to see how Satanists hide information right in front of you so you do not know. The trap muscles are connected all the way to your neck. Let's pull up another picture so you can see that very clearly. So remember, the traps are in the front, are in the back. So it's one long muscle, all right? It comes all the way to the front and travels all the way up to your neck. So this is what false signs doesn't make you understand you can see right here in this picture we blow it up it says here trapezius all the way up to the neck right here the back of the neck but this part of the muscle here which they call mastoid ps stenocleidal mastidius is also your trap muscles but this trap muscles is connected to the front of the traps right here all right on your shoulders so let's pull up that picture of that bodybuilder again who's Phil Heath to show you what we mean. So the traps is this. This is it from the front. It's connected to this side here. This is all trap muscles. All right. So this trap is connected to the neck muscles that are around here from the front. Then from the back is also connected to another one. So both front, all right, trap muscles and back trap muscles. But what false signs has made you to believe is that this muscle is different from this one when they are all the same muscle connected to the same traps on the shoulders that's right around here one from the front and one from the back so when they say now that steroids for an indication of steroids that it is in your traps what they actually want you to believe is that the trap muscles are only in your shoulders which is your shoulders right here they do not want you to understand that this is connected to the neck muscles that the traps and the neck muscles work hand in hand why is that the case because they do not want you to understand i mean i want you to see the level of intricate details in which satan goes to hide reality from you so that your reality is rigged so that instead of you believing that the creator created us black with woolly hair you keep on soaking into albino anybody with straight hair or white supremacy as they call it so this level of detail goes to hide the fact that albinos anybody with straight hair in the most watched sports event in the whole entire world which is called soccer are given steroids 
and the sports is rigged around them to make you believe that they are the greatest sports persons because the most watched sports in the whole entire world is soccer known as football around the world except in the United States so the very indication I want you to listen right now all right forget everything that you have heard about steroids the very indication that someone takes steroids shows in their neck muscles not in their traps not in their vastus lateralis which it does show but for you to see the visible one because at the end of the day when you see someone they are always covered up the legs are going to be covered up the shoulders are going to be covered up but in most cases the necks are always exposed the neck muscles show if someone is taking steroids is going to be a very huge neck let's show you examples now so for women why it is very noticeable that a woman takes steroids is because you have to remember this those neck muscles that you have are joined all the way up to your jaw all right so for females when they take steroids since the neck muscles all right are all the trap muscles all the way from here up down here okay all the way from here up here in which the trap muscles are connected all right the jaw of a female right around the ages is going to be a little bit fuller and thicker than normal that is how you know that this lady is on steroids the jaw is going to be slightly thicker because the neck muscles from the traps which get activated when you take steroids are going to grow bigger and the jaw of this lady as you see here is slightly thicker that's how you know for a female if a female is taking steroids now with males is going to show in the neck so here is where we show you the pictures of the greatest albinos known in sports or very popular in sports today showing you that they are on steroids and compare those pictures with a black soccer athlete as well in the same sports because in soccer albinos anybody with straight hair are given steroids and the steroids are checked against black soccer players and then the sports is rigged around their teams for them to continually win to keep on painting the picture of albino supremacy anybody with straight hair supremacy as the best athletes so when you see sports club like barcelona real madrid bayern munich or manchester united or any other sports club who are very noticeable and known for winning all the soccer medals is because it is rigged for them to win by giving the albinos anybody with straight hair steroids and then the sports teams are rigged for them to win because soccer is the most watched sport for you to keep believing in albino supremacy so that is how satan paints a picture of albinos anybody with straight hair superiority over you to rule your mind and send you to hell and the lake of fire so that you are practicing satanists in watching sports without even knowing what's going on let's pull up some pictures now so i want you to take a good look now here is cristiano ronaldo considered to be or voted to be currently one of the world's greatest athletes the most talented figure all right in sports of soccer which is known as football right around the world i want you to take a good look at christian ronaldo's neck over here this albino anybody with straight hair can you see how humongous the neck is is cristiano ronaldo now a bodybuilder like uh phil heath which we showed you earlier let's pull up another picture of uh, phil heath for you to see so we want you to take a good look at christian ronaldo's neck and feel his neck and tell me is christian ronaldo now a bodybuilder can you see how wide and thick the neck is because all the accolades that christian ronaldo has won has been rigged rigged when he was in manchester united and when Cristiano Ronaldo left Manchester United, Manchester United have been having difficulty because the sports was rigged especially for him to win, to create a great sports talent. Now, the thing about rigging is this in sports. It does not always go according to plan. Sometimes it fails and sometimes it works because 
the rigging involves just certain players and especially the coaching and also the officials the referees sometimes it does not go according to plan because it does not involve everybody and that's how sometimes the rigging doesn't come out right so nevertheless all the accolades that Cristiano Ronaldo has won has been rigged for him together with the fact that he is on steroids so the greatest talents in soccer who are albino anybody with straight hair the only reason why people have come to believe they are great is because your reality of what you see has been constructed it is not real take a look at Cristiano Ronaldo's neck again see how thick it is we showed you that this muscles from the neck right from this side is connected to your traps from the front and from the back so that's why this neck is so thick someone is gonna say oh he does some sort of neck training that's bullshit this neck can never be this thick from any neck training whatsoever it has to be from steroids so when you get on maybe your social media or any sports athlete tells you that you can get this neck from training your neck he's telling you a retarded lie necks don't get thick from neck training they can get stronger but not thicker you only have to take steroids for you to have this kind of neck so compare Cristiano Ronaldo with a regular football player like this black you see the neck is normal it's not huge let's compare him to other black players now this black player is called Tammy Abraham he plays for Chelsea let's check up another black player here's another one this one is called Didier Drogba the neck is normal is not huge and humongous as Cristiano Ronaldo black player because they check the steroids against the black players and give the albinos anybody with straight hair steroids so that they can have an unfair advantage and since the sports is rigged around them you can keep believing in the sports of soccer and a strong and a mentality is created in your mind the belief in albinic superiority albinic supremism when in fact the bones as we've shown you no albino has the structure has the genetics to be able to be a great sports athlete should we pull up that picture again this is what christian ronaldo's bones looks like on the inside for you to be anything you have to be in this world you have to have the genetics for it and no albino anybody with straight hair has the genetics because the bones are cracked up and rotting and the body is continually walking day and night to try to heal itself and because they are genetically sick they are genetically unintelligent and not able to be any of the things that you have been made to believe they are it's all false constructed reality rigged everything is rigged in the favor of albinos anybody with straight hair so we keep on believing in this myth and the lie that the creator did not create us black so that we can all become practicing satanists let's pick up another sports personality in Lionel Messi this is Lionel Messi another great albino player touted as one of the greatest the world has ever seen very very talented all on steroids because without those steroids Lionel Messi would not be able to outperform anybody they would run for like five minutes and ten minutes and after that all the skills and all the dribbling would end because there would be no energy but because of steroids in soccer rigged around them to make them continually win you now believe that there is such a thing as albino anybody with straight hair superiority when it's all false constructed reality because through the images that you see every day which are painted on your tv in your notebooks in popular culture in advertisements you have come to believe in albinic superiority that albinos who make up less than 15 percent of the world population are indeed more numerous than blacks in how the creator created us black with wool hair take a good look at Lionel Messi's neck is Lionel Messi a bodybuilder let's pull up another picture so you see all right see this one take a good look at that neck can you see how thick it is because he's on steroids another picture here's Lionel Messi again 
Is that the neck of a soccer player or the neck of a bodybuilder? Why is it so thick from the sides? Because Lionel Messi is 100% on steroids. Soccer is a rigged sport to make you believe in the myth of albino superiority. Look at a regular person's neck here, a black person, because steroids are checked against black players. They do not take steroids, so they are running on natural energy. Do the black players know? Yes, all of them know. That's why they sign NDA clauses, non-disclosure agreement clauses. And that is why they get paid so much. It doesn't make any sense for soccer athletes to make the kind of money they make. Why do you think they pay them that much? They are paid for their silence because they know the sports is rigged. Let's compare Lionel Messi with another black player. We keep doing this. This is Didier Drogba, regular neck, black man, because he's not on steroids, running on natural energy. Another black man, William. Look at that regular neck it's not thick look at Lionel Messi's neck because Lionel Messi is on steroids and you've come to believe that albinos anybody with straight hair by watching soccer are the greatest soccer players of all time all of them on steroids from Maradona down Maradona had a drug problem why do you think he would have picked up that drug problem because steroids make you do other drugs Maradona was known for taking cocaine. Let's pull up another um, soccer player who's very popular in the United States recently and everybody keeps shouting Captain America, Captain America. His name is Christian Pulisic. Look at Christian Pulisic's neck. Can you see that? On steroids. Is it the same neck as this black player here in William in which both of them are playing on the same team? Because both of them play for the club that's called Chelsea. Both William here and Christian Pulisic. But look at the neck. Where did this young man get this kind of neck? Because Christian Pulisic barely turned 21. And yet he has this kind of huge, humongous neck. And here is Willen in his 30s. A black man. Because steroids are given to albinos. Anybody with straight hair in the sports of soccer, which is the most watched sports in the whole entire world, and is rigged around them for them to win, so you do believe in the myth of albino supremacy anybody with straight hair supremacy so that you continue to be a practicing satanist because this makes you believe that the creator created us all instead of the fact that he created us black with woolly hair and albinos anybody with straight hair are a creation of man the sports is rigged Steroids given to albinos rigged around them to provide an unfair advantage and checked against black athletes such as William here, Didier Drogba, and Tammy Abraham, who are all black. You can see from their necks that they have no steroids, and yet these albinos have such thick necks. When in reality, the bones of an albino look like this on the inside. That's why albinos age quickly because the body is sick the organs are sick the bones are sick from where everything comes from is sick and is cracked up on the inside and therefore the body has to continually work day and night to heal them and that's why albinos get old that's why they are infertile that's why they suffer from autism. That is why they suffer from ADHD. That is why they suffer under so many sicknesses that there is no name for it in the books of medical history. Why? Because the weakest satanic medical industry and system refuses to tell you the truth that what you need is carbon as an albino anybody with straight hair. And you can only get that carbon by procreating with black people so your next children get some carbon and you continue to tell your children born of that union with a black person that they should continue to procreate with other black people so they do not get sick because they want natural intelligence eroded away and as long as you keep believing in albino supremacy anybody with straight hair supremacy and you keep listening and hearing albino speak and you keep trying to be like them and you keep believing that whatsoever affects them affects you 
your body will be programmed to be as unintelligent as albinos anybody with straight hair are and in the future you will receive that artificial intelligence chip because you no longer have natural intelligence that is why it is called an artificial intelligence chip and the only way out for all of you both black and albinos anybody with straight hair is to keep the commandments of the creator because when you keep the commandments of the creator you will have wisdom and natural intelligence you will know what you're supposed to know because the commandments of the creator will teach you real intelligence and you will be strong in your bones and you will not go to hell and the lake of fire which satan wants you to go and spend eternity with him because he cannot get the creator to give him forgiveness so he wants to take you along with him because he cannot get the creator to give him forgiveness so he heaps more miseries and atrocities through you in the belief of albino anybody with straight hair superiority to get the creator's attention but the creator pays him no attention and he will not pay you any attention either because you have refused the commandments of the creator just like satan did so the only way out for all of you is to keep the commandments of the creator and with that let's continue on so this rigging and you know constructing a false reality is something very very terrible because since the system is so wicked and is using albinos anybody with straight hair to continue to create this false reality and to make them to continue to try to believe that they are more superior than black people this thing is now so deeply entrenched into the mindset of all albinos that they are continually trying to steal the identity of black people even in things that they are not supposed to do so the image that you're looking on the screen is in the fact that in sports all sports are rigged to keep on making us believe in albino supremacy what you're looking at the screen is a wrestling match between a young black boy and an albino anybody with straight hair boy in this particular clip that you're gonna watch normally in wrestling it is an accepted law that once your back touches the floor, it means that you have been defeated. Now, this black boy over here is going to win this match. But the albino referees, the official who stand, who saw that this albino boy's back did touch the mat, refused to give this boy the win. And this poor black boy would keep on fighting. The back of this albino boy would touch the mat several times, but they refused to give this boy the win. So when the boy now stood up, the black boy, he picked up this albino and slammed him to the mat. And when he slammed him to the mat, this albino boy cried. What do you think would have happened to that competition right now? They would have disqualified this black boy because he had picked up this boy after several attempts that he had shown that he had won this particular match by the back of this albino boy touching the mat. And the referees who are albinos refuse to make him win. Let's roll the clip so you see it with your own eyes before we continue speaking. So as you can see right here, you see that the back of that boy is on the mat the match is supposed to be over at this point in time they are supposed to tell this boy that he has won the black boy but they did not because they are painting a picture of albino supremacy for us so the sports must be rigged at all times even at the lowest level like this when these are just young children just playing around Sports is something that was supposed to be for entertainment, but they have turned it into a tool of painting the picture of albino supremacy by rigging it because albinos, anybody with straight hair, are naturally weak because they do not have the genetics to be able to do anything. Let's play the clip further so you see. See? 
it's on the back several times the boy's body is on the back the albino and look at the referee over here albinos they refuse to tell this boy that he has won look at them standing here and looking albino referee he's supposed to give the win to the black boy but he refuses and look at what happens next now after several attempts because the boy has now been cheated all right he stood up and i want you to see what happens now he's gonna pick this boy up right and see what's gonna happen and slams him to actually make them see that he has actually won the match and because he did that and probably this albino boy got injured they would have disqualified that match why because this albino referee refused to give a legal win to a young black boy this is so so painful it's just a game but this is how satanism works through albino supremacy anybody with straight hair supremacy that they are forced to think themselves as superiors when they are not because the whole entire system has been rigged for them to be at an advantage over black people so that satan can paint the picture to us human beings that the creator did not create us black with woolly hair watch the clip again and roll it several times so that you see yourself So next on our roll call is Pastor Jabin Chavez. Pastor Jabin Chavez is a pastor of City Light Church in Las Vegas. You probably watched this particular uh, church on TV on many of the so-called synagogues of Satan networks that you watch on Christian TV. So as you can see right here, Pastor Jabin Chavez has an acute Q angle that's below the crotch and an hourglass figure as you can see right here that she starts spreading from underneath her ribcage as women usually do because Pastor Jabin Chavez of City Light Church in Las Vegas is 100% female. You've been watching her on TV? This is a woman. An acute Q angle below the crotch and all the theatrics and antics is trying to cover up the fact that it's a woman. Here is another picture of Pastor Jabin Chavez. Can you see that? An acute Q angle, it's below the crotch. An hourglass figure. And you can tell from this feminine form that Jabin Chavez of City Light Church, which you watch on TV on your Sunday mornings or so, and you clap and say, Hooray, God is great, God is good. You're saying Satan is good and Satan is great because God is Satan. You have to understand that now. Christianity is the worst religion of all time because it embodies the worship of satanism to the core and hides the fact that you are worshiping satan with other religions you can plainly know that's not the worship of the creator that is why christianity is so great and wonderful all right let's continue on next on our roll call is hank williams three he's the son of the legendary singer per se but he's really not a son but he's actually a woman of hank williams who was a very popular country music singer but the one thing that they never told you is that his son actually his daughter is actually a female we haven't checked out hank williams but hank williams three the son to the person you know as hank williams a country music singer is a woman as you can see right here hank williams 3 starts spreading wider from above the navel as all females do from below their rib cage i want you to take a good look at the chest it is not symmetrical as a male chest should be it looks like one chest muscle is actually disappearing away from the other because this is a woman as you can see the huge pelvis of hank williams 3 all right 
spreading out because Hank Williams is 100% female on steroids. Did you notice that as well? Can you see the neck muscles now? So thick on the sides because she's on steroids trying to fake to you the male form. So that is how you know if someone is on steroids or not. The neck muscles will always tell you what's going on. It's going to be thicker and wider than it should be for a normal human neck. Because Hank Williams 3 here is 100% female. Here's another picture of Hank Williams 3. As you can see, the arms are trying to follow the contours of the body because Hank Williams 3, a daughter of the legendary singer, country music singer Hank Williams, who has made you believe that this is a man, that he has a son, actually has a daughter who's trying to pretend to be a son to you when it's actually a woman. Hank Williams 3, 100% female. You can see the huge, humongous curves because from underneath the elbow, as all women do, they start spreading wider because from underneath your elbows down as a woman in your torso, that's all pelvis area. That's why females have longer torsos to accommodate childbirth. And Hank Williams is exhibiting one because she spreads wider from underneath the elbows. And the widest points that we showed you in the previous picture is below the crotch. Even though she is covered up here, you can tell that these huge humongous curves are that of a female because Hank Williams 3 is 100% female. And here is one more picture so you can actually see that this is a woman all day and night. Look at the curves. Hourglass figure, all right? because Hank Williams 3 is 100% female and you can tell that this acute Q angle is below the crutch. You can see the curves if you follow my mouse. Hank Williams 3, a woman in disguise trying to make you believe it's male. Next up on agenda check is Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson is a popular country music singer, but nobody ever told you that Willie Nelson was 100% female. But you can tell from this picture that the arms of Willie Nelson are following the contours of the body. And you can see that the way he stands here emanates the female form. Because as we told you, a woman acts the way she acts or behaves the way she does because of her skeleton, her bones. The bones is your genetics. There is no such thing as DNA or chromosomes. Everything has to do with your bones. And Willie Nelson here is exhibiting here the form of a woman. The arms follow the contours of the body and a cute Q angle below the crutch because Willie Nelson is 100% female. And here is another picture of Willie Nelson when she was much younger, but you can tell from these curves and the way that she stands that Willie Nelson is 100% female. You can see that she starts spreading wider from underneath the rib cage. Let's blow this picture up as much as we can so you see that. From underneath the rib cage, she spreads wider and there is an acute Q angle, hourglass figure showing below the rib cage because Willie Nelson is 100% female. And all the music artists of the world who have worked with her never mentioned this fact to you because your reality is constructed from top to bottom because you do not keep the commandments of the creator and you believe everything that you see before you because you have no intelligence because you do not keep the commandments. Let's continue on. Here's another picture of Willie Nelson and you can't deny this. You're looking at a granny and not a granddad or grandpa. You can see right here, even the arms are still following the contours of the body. And this all from Getty Images, the people who construct your false reality for you. Government-owned Getty Images. But you can see right here that Willie Nelson spreads wider and wider even through these jeans because she has the wide pelvis of a female. And here you can see the acute Q angle that's below the crotch because Mr. Willie Nelson is actually Mrs. Willie Nelson, 100% female and not a man in any way, shape or form. Next up on our gender check is Baron Trump. Already we've featured so many of Trump's son and even the son-in-law on our channel, Jared Kushner, and the two sons that Donald Trump seems to have which are all females. 
it did not end there. Even the last son is also a woman in Baron Trump. So the media tries to tell you that Baron Trump is shy, so they don't really feature that much of her because they don't want you to notice that it is a young girl actually growing, which they have masqueraded around as a boy. They want to take your focus away from noticing that fact that all of Donald Trump's son, which we have shown you, are actually women. And another case in Baron Trump here. So Baron Trump, you can tell from the way this arm swings that he's trying to follow the contours of the body because a woman acts the way she acts because of her skeleton. Because the skeleton, the bones, the genetics determines who you are. And this is what Baron Trump is exhibiting because you can tell that this is a young girl being masqueraded around as a boy. Can you see such great amounts of wickedness that is being heaped upon people? All in the name of what government? Oh my goodness. Let's move on to another picture of Baron Trump. Here's another picture of Baron Trump with the father and mother, Melania Trump and Donald Trump. As you can notice right here, even though this picture is blurry, but you can notice that this is an acute Q angle that's below the crutch because Baron Trump, Donald Trump's son, is 100% female and not a man in any way or a young male or boy in any way shape or form because the acute Q angle is below the crutch. Let's go to the next picture. And here is Baron Trump again. Can you see? An acute Q angle below the crutch because Baron Trump is 100% female and not a man in any way shape or form. They've lied to you. All right. Let's continue on. Next up on Agenda Check is Pastor Mike Todd of Transformation Church. You've probably seen this pastor a lot in any of maybe your TV favorite networks that you like watching on Christian programs, right? So he's preached at Lakewood Church. Now, nobody ever told you or nobody even paid attention to the fact that this man has a very crazy weird Q angle which is not befitting of a male because Mike Todd is 100% female and his church he has such stars that we have featured before on our channel Leticia Wright of Black Panther who's actually also another transgender a male pretending to be female Pastor Mike Todd here who is supposed to be a Christian a pastor of Transformation Church even the name Transformation Church shows that all is not well because Mike Todd here is 100% female and not a man in any way as you can notice by this crazy Q angle below the crutch which shows that there are very wide hips and the pelvis of a female and you can notice that the way the arms are being carried around they are trying to hog the curves of the body because Mike Todd is 100% female and not a man in any way shape or form Next picture of Mike Todd, and here is Mike Todd with the so-called wife. Two lesbians, homosexuals. Something that was not supposed to happen. An abomination that someone should be a homosexual. And then even go to the length of leading people in the name of God. Which a lot of people do not know is Satan. Which they think they are worshipping the creator. Because Mike Todd is 100% female. And here this woman smiling at you deceiving all the so-called folk who believe in Christianity. Another picture of Mike Todd. Here's another picture of Mike Todd, clear as night and day. You can see that acute Q angle is below the crutch because Mike Todd is 100% female. You can see that she starts spreading from directly under the rib cage. And don't let the facial hair fool you because as we've shown you before, okay? Facial hair and all the secondary sex characteristics of either male or female in the genitalia does not determine gender. Gender is determined by the skeleton, your bones, not the genitalia and not the facial features. Because right here you can see there is an acute Q angle below the crutch because my thought of Transformation Church, who has even preached in Lakewood Church is 100% female an abomination and you people are still believing in Christianity why because you do not keep the commandments of the Creator you're going to hell 
and the lake of fire. Here's another picture of Mike Todd here. And who is here? Leticia Wright of Black Panther, which we have already featured, who's actually a man pretending to be a woman. And here is Mike Todd. And none of these people here care to pay attention because as wicked as the satanic government is and Satan himself, who construct your reality for you, so are the people who when watching this video will say, oh, wow, because you do not keep the commandments of the creator. You're just as wicked as Satan himself. Because if they were not wicked, if they were keeping the commandments, they would notice that there is something wrong with this pastor, that he is not a man, but a woman. And here's another picture of Mike Todd. If all the other pictures did not convince you, this one is clear as night and day. You can actually see that the arms are filling the contours of the body and they're angling out from the elbows as a woman arms usually should be. And you can see how hourly glass shaped this man is. That from underneath that same elbow, she starts getting wider because Mike Todd, who happened to be at the Voos conference, which a lot of you all have gone to or watch on your favorite Christian networks. Because you are not keeping the commandments of the Creator, you will not be able to be intelligent. You are just as evil as the satanic government who are putting up all these transgenders for you to see. Your only way out from what's coming in the future and going to hell in the lake of fire is to keep His commandments. Let's continue on. So what's up everybody? I am here um, today on Father's Day with my father, Pastor Tommy Todd, the captain. And um, we're gonna talk and have just a conversation about fatherhood, the love of a father. Um, but before we dive deep, I'm just gonna ask you, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when I say these words, okay? Okay. All right, NBA Finals. Curry go. Curry go? What does that even mean? Steph Curry. I always give him the nickname Curry Goat because he's the greatest of all time. We'll have that debate later. Okay, <laughs> um, Alabama. Home. That's where you're born and raised? Yeah. When I say Louisiana. Grambling. That's where you? Went to college. Okay, when I say Tulsa. Transformation. Okay, why, why you say transformation when we say Tulsa? Huh? Because that's that? where the transformation in our lives started happening. We moved here in 1981. Wow. And ever since that, God has been transforming our lives and it's just been a wonderful experience. When I say Paris. Grace. Why you say Grace? That's where he was conceived. That's disgusting. <laughs> that is, oh my nasty. Um, <laughs> anyway. So today, um, Dad, I want to have a conversation with you. All now, right. I know you're one of the most interesting characters I've ever <laughs> met in my entire life. Mm. And, um, but you have been a model to follow of what a father should be. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand the relationship with the Heavenly Father because they probably had a skewed view or a broken view of what a father is. So today we're gonna to call this Conversations with a Father All right. and see um, if we can learn more about fatherhood and learn more about God. Lakewood, young adults, are y'all ready tonight? Let me try it one more time. Lakewood, young adults, are y'all ready tonight? Hey, listen. So I'm in H-Town. Now, this is only the second time I've been in Houston and both times have been to Lakewood Church. So, so tonight, I'm home. Now, some of y'all don't know what that means, but I'm about to be me tonight. And we're about to see God's glory meet us in this place right now. So if you have an expectation, let's give God a shout of praise before anything happens. Come on, let's give Him the glory that he is worthy of. Hey, high five three people and say, tonight is for me. Come on, just I find three people, tell them tonight is for me. I'm glad you came, but tonight is for me. You can take your seats.
taking her to the fever. I, I, I didn't step in the bed. So, Mr. Funkmaster, yo, be, yo, 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 be, yo, 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 So next up on the roll call is Kevin Feige. Now Kevin Feige is the director of Avengers. So if you've watched the whole Avengers series, we think she's been responsible for the whole idea of directing Avengers per se, but we know that she is not the idea behind it. That means someone else is pulling the strings because Kevin Feige here would be so confused about his gender. He would be worrying about his gender day and night that he wouldn't have enough processing power to have been able to be the brains behind the whole Avengers series. So that means someone else is doing the job and then just putting the face of Kevin Feige on top of it. So nevertheless, I want you to start looking at Kevin Feige right here and you'll notice that in the way Kevin Feige walks, in the way that arm swings right here in this picture, that Kevin Feige is 100% female and could never be a man in any way. Because as we have told you throughout Roll Call, the way a woman acts is because of her bones, her skeleton. And skeleton determines the gender and not the genitalia or the appearance. So that's why with all the money that Kevin Feige has, it seems very odd that they can get any good sense of fashion or dressing because all what they are trying to lie to you about is that they are eccentric and that they are very intelligent. But since you now know the fact that Kevin Feige right here, all right, is an albino number one, anybody with straight hair and therefore could not possess intelligence it means that someone else is pulling the strings encumbered with the fact that kevin feige is also a transgender because kevin feige is not the gender that he claims it does show that she could not be the brains behind the avengers so taking a good look at kevin feige right here you will notice that in the way this arm swings right here as you see it's following the contours of the body and you can notice that even from the midsection right here that it starts spreading wider there is a round hourglass figure if you follow my mouse right here and below the crotch you can start seeing the acute q angle because kevin feige is 100 percent female here's another picture of kevin feige that's why in this picture kevin feige is trying to hide the female form by putting her hands in her pocket that is what most of these transgenders are trained to do in the schools of transgenders which they are sent to from childhood this is how wicked and satanic this government is that it takes children from a young age and trains them to be in the place that they are in like animals crossbreeding and inbreeding human beings is going on right before our eyes every day that's why the whole house of representatives and the whole senators and the whole judiciary committees and the whole entire machinery of government cannot say that donald trump is a female because the whole house of representatives the senators the judiciary the supreme court they are all trained from childhood to be in that position they are in that's what's going on so that's why you never hear a whimper none of the media outlets say anything because as we have explained satan runs everything everything is hush hush to create a false reality for you so you do not know that a creator indeed made this world so you go to hell and the lake of fire because you choose not to keep his commandments and you therefore have no intelligence you believe what you see and you cannot tell the difference between reality and lies because you do not keep the commandments of the creator you are just as wicked as the satanists who are doing all this but here with kevin feige you can notice all right that kevin feige has an acute q angle that's below the crotch and even though she's trying to hide the female form by putting her hands in her pockets it still does show that kevin feige is 100 female
And here's another picture of Kevin Feige. You can still see that there is a very heavy, thick midsection, which is not normal for a male to look this way because even though the midsection is thick, it's an hourglass. With males, you'll never find this. That's why Kevin Feige, you can see that right here, the arms are following the contours of the body. They're not trying to stick out of the shoulders. You can notice that she looks like an airline. That's how females are usually shaped. Shaped like an A, that means as you go towards the midsection, they get thicker and wider. And then below it, all right, it turns into a very acute Q angle that gives you that hourglass figure, all right? And this is what Kevin Feige is showing here because Kevin Feige is 100% female, the director of the Avengers series that you guys watch. And you guys don't even know what the Avengers is about. Oh my goodness, I wish you knew. And here is Kevin Feige with Tom Holland in Spider-Man and Tom Holland never did mention the fact that the man that's directing in the Avengers series in which he starred in is not the gender they claim because everybody that you see in every place of power or influence on your TV screen was trained from childhood to be there. There's a whole training school filled with children for this purpose. They show it on your TV sets in so many movies, but you guys are just watching entertainment because you are just as wicked as they are. The only difference is that they are organized and you are not. That's it, because you do not keep the commandments of the creator. All right, let's continue on. If all the pictures that we showed you didn't do you justice, this one should be able to tell you as clear as night and day that you have no doubts that you're looking at a female. You can see the hourglass figure. You can see that Kevin Feige here starts spreading from underneath the elbows as all women usually are. And even through them crazy clothes that she's wearing to hide this form and lie to you that it's eccentric dressing because they are just too brilliant because by now you should know that no albino is brilliant the body is constantly suffering trying to heal itself of the broken scarring bones that all albinos anybody with straight hair carry around the organs are constantly at work so there is no brilliance in an albino's mind the only thing they can do is follow instructions so kevin feige is lying to you trying to make you think that she is brilliant what she's trying to do is hide the female form that she has because she is a female she's been trained to be this way right from childhood this is what they show you in so many movies they call them the clone army including albinos anybody with straight hair and everybody else that's in power has been trained to be there they make up the clone army Cloning here does not mean that you can make a replica of somebody. It doesn't mean that. It means that you're crossbred and inbred to be in the position that you are in. That's the meaning of cloning. Anything else they're trying to tell you in popular culture or science about cloning, like cloning lambs and goats and all that is all bullshit. It's all crossbreeding and inbreeding and that's it. But you can notice right here in this picture, you can see that right here, there is an acute Q angle below the crutch. It's below it. And don't worry about this jeans. She's wearing hipsters, specially constructed pants to hide the female wide, longer, bigger pelvis. Because Kevin Feige here is 100% female and not a man in any way, shape or form. Let's continue on. And here's Kevin Feige with Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson never mentioned to you one day that her director in the Avengers series is a woman. Why is everybody hush hush? Because everybody put in front of your TV screen and everybody that's leading you in today's world, whether he be a basketball player, whether he be an NBA superstar or a football player or a movie star or a president or anybody in any sphere of contact. They have been put there by the satanic families who run the world, groomed from childhood. They have a whole breeding program for breeding kids into these places whom they have trained to think a certain way. So you think it's organic, that that is a natural way. And you believe it. Why? Because you are just as wicked as these people are. You do not keep the commandments of the creator. You're going to scream and shout and say that they are the problem when you are the problem yourself. You are the problem because they're just doing their jobs. 
It's just that they're more organized and you're not organized. You're doing your own wickedness in another way, shape or form, one way or the other. Let's continue on. So this picture says it all. When you take a good look at it, you can see that the arms of Kevin Feige are fooling the contours of the body. Whether his name is Kevin Feige or Kevin Feige, I don't know, but you know who we're talking about, right? And right here you can see there's an hourglass figure and these arms are filling the contours of the body. Because Kevin Feige, even looking at that face, you can tell that Kevin Feige is a female. Let's continue on. Next up on roll call is the man you know as Marcus Lemonis. You've probably watched this man on NBC. But Marcus Lemonis is 100% female, not a man in any way, shape or form. You can tell right off the bat in this picture. You can see that even through the clothes that Marcus Lemonis is wearing, that she starts spreading from underneath the elbows as all females do. And there is an acute Q angle that's below the crotch. And you can see the way that Marcus Lemonis carries his arms here. This is the arm form carrying of a female. Following the contours of the body, even the palms of the arms try to do that. A man's arm will never fall this way towards the body because Marcus Lemonis is 100% female. And you can tell from that thick neck right there that she is on steroids. Can you see that? That neck is way too thick. There is no form of exercise that this female can do to have this kind of thick neck except she's taking steroids. Because looking at Marcus Lemonis, he doesn't look fit. He doesn't look like someone who's in the gym. So how can you have this kind of thick neck? It's because she's on steroids. Steroids to make her look like a man. Because Marcus Lemonis is 100% female. Let's continue on. Here's another picture of Marcus Lemonis. And you can notice right here that this is an hourglass figure with an acute Q angle below the crotch, the angle between the hip and the knee, because Marcus Lemonis is 100% female and not a man in any way, shape or form. The so-called billionaire that you watch on TV is a woman, Marcus Lemonis on The Apprentice. Let's continue on. Here's another picture of Marcus Lemonis and you can tell from this curve right here, this is such an elongated curve because here is where Marcus Lemonis waist starts because a female waist just starts just directly below her rib cage and slightly above her navel. That's where a woman's waist starts. So from the way Marcus Lemonis is twisting his body, you can know that it's a woman. If he was a man, the twist wouldn't start up this high because that's where the twist starts, all right? That is where the waist of a woman starts. You can see that it's such a long curve, as you can notice right from underneath his elbows. Even through those clothes, you can tell. That's the huge long pelvis of a female all the way down and an acute Q angle that's below the crotch if you look and follow my mouse because Marcus Lemonis. The NBC billionaire that you watch all day, in which these black women are hanging on to, is 100% female, a female just like them. And they never told you because everything you watch on TV is constructed. Nothing is real. It's meant to paint a construction of reality for you. So you believe that instead of believing the truth. You believe in all the bullshit and lies they tell you. You believe in the universe instead of believing in the creator and keeping his commandments, which is the only way that you can get intelligence. But you choose not to do so because you put everything you hear or see through the mirror and lens of albino, anybody with straight hair supremacy who have become your gods instead of the truth. And here's another picture of Marcus Lemonis. You could notice that this acute Q angle and hourglass figure is below the crotch. Can you notice that? Even through the suit that she's wearing, trying to hide that, you can notice that this is a very long pelvis. The suit is trying to cover that fact up, but you can notice even from the lapel of this pants that she's wearing, that this is a very long pelvis of a female and an acute hourglass figure that's below the crotch because Marcus Lemonis is 100% female. Here is another picture of Marcus Lemonis. As you can see right here, Marcus Lemonis has the long pelvis and there's an arch in that back. Because Marcus Lemonis is 100% female. Look at this butt. It's way too long for it to be a man. Look at a man's butt over here. It's very short because a man has a short pelvis. 
the bud starts suddenly and ends quickly. With a female, the bud travels longer because of the longer pelvis of a female. Required for a baby to stay inside the womb for the nine months of conception that a baby has to go through. Because Marcus Lemonis is 100% female. He's never a man in any way, shape or form. And here's Marcus Lemonis again. Can you notice that? Marcus Lemonis is trying to put his hands on the male waist, but it doesn't exist. So that's why this arm looks funny. There is no resting point for the arm because Marcus Lemonis is female. He's trying to put those hands on the male waist, but it does not exist. Rather, the arms find the huge pelvis of a female. And you can notice even through these genes that this is an hourglass figure in those hips because Marcus Lemonis is 100% female and not a man in any way, shape or form. And here's Marcus Lemonis again. You can still notice the same thing. The long butt of a female, the long pelvis of a female because Marcus Lemonis is a woman and not a man in any way, shape or form. And here she's talking about leadership is about taking a chance on yourself by building into others. What kind of leader are you listening to? If the very leader that you're listening to cannot even tell you in all sincerity that she is a woman born and bred as a woman but pretending to be a man what kind of leader are you listening to but this is what most people will look up to as a leader as somebody they can take advice from as somebody who can help them what you are reaching out for is help from Satan because the Satan has put Marcus Lemonis here. Marcus Lemonis would have no idea about leadership because all day, every day, Marcus Lemonis will be thinking about what gender am I in? That's what Marcus Lemonis will be thinking about every day because you have to understand this. The bodies of these people who are transgendered will always tell them that they are the gender that they were born with so everything else they do is trying to force your body not to conform to what it is and every day your body will be fighting will be fighting against you to tell you that you are not the gender that you say you are i hope you understand that but all this is possible because demons, and we'll get into that at the final stage of roll call, which will be on our next video. Demons are the ones making all this possible. Because why? We have come into the latter stages of humanity in which there's going to be a clear separation between those who are worshiping Satan, who are practicing Satanists, who have been lying to themselves all through the years that they seek the creator there's gonna be a separation now so that is why all this is happening with such force and such speed to make sure that the evil people are weeded out because unknown to you the creator is coming back that's true and how many people do you think are gonna be saved this time I'll just leave that guess up to you. And here is one more picture of Marcus Lemonis. If you were doubting before, this picture should tell you as clear as night and day that this is a woman. Because you can see that even through these clothes, there's an hourglass figure following Marcus Lemonis. So that's why you can judge someone based off his or her appearance in this modern age. And everything that we are doing now is for the future so that your children can have a stand against what's coming so they'll never make the mistake no matter what they see to make the wrong choices because they will have facts but if you do not take responsibility in training your kids right and giving them the truth you have set them up for a very very difficult and terrorizing future the truth only will make you free and that truth is keeping the commandments of the creator at all times that is the only way you're going to be able to deal with what's coming 
let's continue on.